To me, it's massive. It's big, it's enormous. This is by far the coolest thing I've ever done working in Amherst. It's the biggest. This is the biggest project of my lifetime. The Illinois Rivers program is approximately $1.4 billion. It uh, starts with uh, over in the Missouri side around Quincy area and extends all the way east into Indiana. It's a massive project, huge investment bringing value to our customers, improved reliability, improved efficiency of the system, and where it connects up to other MVP or multi-value projects brings us access to renewable energy out there. So the Illinois Rivers project consisted of nine transmission line segments of uh, 345,000 volts. Um, it also included 10 newer expanded uh, substations. And then in addition to that, we had another 30 or so substations and 30 or so transmission lines that had to be rerouted or upgraded. In addition to all those, we had three river crossings. These towers for the Meridoshi Paver River Crossing are approximately 490 foot tall. These will be the tallest towers in the Ameren system. Uh, these are uh, taller than the pyramids, to put it in perspective. There's actually a lot of engineering behind these towers. They're the first on the system to be designed to withstand the F2 tornado, 135 mile an hour wind. Each tower weighs about three quarters of a million pounds, the tall ones. The short ones less. The tall towers have around 23,000 bolts per tower. Um, there's 64,000 bolts total on this river crossing. The actual legs for the tower came from Turkey. No one in North America manufactured the angle size, so we had to order those from Turkey. Most transmission lines I work on are 100 foundations or less, typically 50 or less. This had over 2,200. Going through a project that's of this size, it's very, very important that when you look at the number of, of landowners, the number of communities that we're working in, that we have a good relationship with them, that we're communicating with them, that they're aware of, of what we're doing. And that's really a, becomes a key to, to being able to execute a successful project. See my house right there. Right there. And what's really important about that is maintaining those relationships, the relationships with the landowners, where we're impacting the landowner, the communities who not only get impacted by the project, but gain the value from that project, and the relationship with our regulators and our contractors. They all have to work together so that we can be efficient in providing that value to our customers and being able to deliver a project like the Illinois Rivers Project. This has been a long uh, challenge to get agreements in place to build this river crossing. And today we'll, we'll start setting the top sections with a, with a helicopter. Erickson Skycrane uh, has a purpose-built helicopter used to lift up to about 20,000 pounds. So the first step is the, the lineman will attach to the small support helicopter. They'll attach in pairs and they'll check each other's harness and gear so they can fly safely up to the top of the tower and get in position. So the next step will be the Skycrane will actually attach to the steel and lift it into place. There'll be a guy in the sky crane that would kind of guide, guide the steel into place. Once they lower it down on the, onto the tower, the lineman will bolt it up and they'll cut the rigging free and they'll go pick up another piece. It's just such a fast process. It's, it's very orchestrated. You'll see the crew um, just almost like dancers, picking up pieces, setting pieces. They all know the role and they do the role very well. It is so much fun to watch that, and it is so much fun to just see this come to fruition for us. I think the thing I'm gonna remember most about the project is obviously the, the size and the scope, but the, the number of people I got to work with who are, are just really dedicated to what they do. Um, their, their careers mean a whole bunch to them. And just to learn from them, it was just an opportunity of a lifetime. Being a part of this, project we're building the tallest towers ever it's really a, a great feeling i'm a small part of it but we got a great team it's just a, it's a tremendous feeling i'm very honored to be part of the illinois rivers program it's been a, a long project and there's still more to more to come uh, but we've uh, delivered on all our all our goals and uh, have hit all our scheduled milestones it's been a lot of hard work by you know just a huge number of people on the on the team and so to uh, to get here at the end and be able to see the last piece go in and then 
uh, to see the uh, the line become energized and and see us um, you know delivering on our promises that that we've made um, to our customers is is really going to be it's going to be a great feeling. What's really great about it from an Ameren perspective is the team not only identified it, said what they were going to do, but delivered on it. That team was all in. Illinois River set a path for us. It set a path to show what we can do as a corporation, how we can be innovative, how we can be aggressive in developing these projects and delivering value to our customers in a way that is safe and reliable.